everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from day 1B of the Las Vegas Open. It's the first round of the day. Today I'm joined by my good friend, William Hagwood. Oh, Dion, I am so excited for another day of X-Wing. Let's do it. We got five rounds, Will. We have Joe Vincent versus Daniel Lara to get us started. The First Order versus the Resistance. Everybody at home, it's going to be time to choose your champion. Before we go too far, though, let me let you know that today all of our games are brought to you by Curlpaw Creatives. Use coupon code LVO22 for 22% off. Get the brand new Curlpaw painting station. Or if you haven't checked out those awesome uh, album art walk uh, hangers as well. And, of course, always your home for acrylic tokens and templates. Let's go ahead, open up that Choose Your Champion champion betting and will it is time for us to break down those lists all right we're going to start with daniel lara on the right your bet to all champion here because uh, it is the new republic coming in uh that is five new or uh <laughs> i said republic yeah yep. <laughs> yeah yeah new republic but yeah y'all. Uh, the, the Resistance New Republic, Resistance right? New that, Republic. that makes it a little confusing. They're not exactly the Resistance. This is uh, governmental agents here <laughs> on patrol. Uh, they have the dorsal turret, uh, which is the two die uh, range one to two turret. Uh, has the best descriptive text in the whole game, attack. Uh, and then with it as well has wartime loadout. Uh, which is going to give them two extra shields, a white lock, uh, in addition to a white reload. Now, uh, there's some other things with wartime uh, called Devastating Barrage, but they don't really apply to these guys. So we'll skip over that for now. They don't got any munitions. No munitions. No need to reload. No need to uh, get uh, crits and bullseyes, nothing like that. So main thing is white lock and... Uh, those two extra shields. So, beyond that, they also have Watchful Astromech. You got a second throw Watchful up for me. Watchful. Awesome. So, this is a very new card. It came out with the Y Wings here, uh, which is a uh, factionless Astromech. While you perform a rotate or reload action if you're in the enemy ship's firing arc if you form a red calculate action so again these guys got no no munitions no need to reload so just focusing on those turrets so if they need to rotate their turret that's uh they can still modify it then so great action economy if you really need to start swiveling around uh, the turrets to get some converging arcs. So, on the other side, though, we have... Get that out of here, Jill. Get that out of there. No more, no more, yeah. no more droids. <laughs> All right. So, Joe Vincent on our left here is flying the First Order. Uh, starting with Lieutenant Rewis in the TIE FO. Uh, likes to have people at range 1 to 2 receiving red or orange tokens because Rebus can grab a lock on them. So easy way to get a double modified shot or be able to spend your token on defense um, while still maintaining some offense. Uh, as well with him, my favorite pairing is Hala with Proud Tradition mm -hmm. as well. Just throw that. All right, Hollow with Proud Tradition. Hollow must transfer a token at the beginning of combat uh, to a friendly at range zero to two. Normally that's going to be the Strainer Deplete. He gets from Fine Tune Thrusters, mm -hmm. uh, being able to take a target lock or barrel action for that token. Also has Proud Tradition, so when he does a red maneuver or gains a stress, you can still perform focus actions. What's great about Hollow is that Hollow can basically ignore the penalty of Proud Tradition. Yep which says that your opponent could, if you're stressed, spend a one of their focus tokens or suffer a crit to flip the card. Now on the other side, it has a red focus action only. Um, the, the benefit of hollow is that you always always can throw the stress. And that's so, right, yeet. Yeah, there's, 
It's amazing. It's amazing. It's like, oh, look at the bad side of this card. Actually, how about not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, why that's why those two pair so well together. So not yeah. only can Hollow pick up locks, which is assigning an enemy a red token for Rebus, mm -hmm. uh, Hollow can also throw the Strainer and Deplete over to Rebus. Um, so a beautiful pair there. Let's talk about Breach then, too. Uh, Breach is the I-5 First Order Bomber. Um, I'll be impressed if we see his ability. I, but <laughs> Doubt. Uh, he, he can acquire free locks. We'll see if it happens in this game. Oh, he, he, he might have that intention, though. He, he brought munitions. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, you got to, right? But uh, the main thing is the system phase boost the chassis gets. Very powerful. Because that boost is white, it keeps their maneuverability really fast. You can almost fly Breach as an ace with a uh, double repositioning, um, including that barrel into target lock linked actions. Three actions on my munitions carrier, Dion. <laughs> yes, I, please, and thank you. I will take it. So. Breach has equipped uh, advanced proton torpedoes for range one attacks. His long range attacks are gonna be ion missiles, so a little bit of control in addition to that as well. Uh, has counter nets, also a great synergy with the system phase boost. So you could boost and then drop your counter net, uh, get into some pretty interesting positions if someone's uh, to the side of you. And then, Weapon System Officer. What are you doing over here? Oh, you changed it once again. Didn't like that. Nope, nope. No, Got to go for perfection. Not a fan. That's okay. Thank you for putting up Weapon System Officer. Uh, this is a fairly new card, but after you perform a special attack with the lock requirement, all of Breach's weapons do, you may acquire a lock on the Defender. So that's going to let him. The main thing is that you're looking to shoot the Ion Missile get somebody ionized, now you have a lock and you can move into range one with a focus and shoot that double modified advanced proton torpedo. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. <laughs> uh, we also got Wylo here with Brilliant Evasion and Fanatical and Jamming Suite. Uh, well, he's not in the fire right now, but we will be talking up quite a bit about that Kylo. Looks like we have an ion missile from Breach coming in, able to snipe a range three attack here onto that Y-Wing, but only two. So it gets the weapon system officer target lock right here. And here's the defensive roll. Two on one. That's just going to be that Ooh. single damage on that pink Y-Wing to get us started. Uh, yeah, and it will avoid the, the ion yep. token. Which is definitely more important. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's very, very important. So it looks like we have... This is Breach and Kylo circling around here. Kylo would probably could take that lane if he wanted to. Uh, whereas Hollow and Rebus are coming in. Now, Rebus is an amazing blocker. There's been a lot of talk about his bedding closed, by the way. Uh, it's um, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it is closed as of now with 52 seconds left on the board. Okay. So it looks like uh, about a 10% favor in uh, the New Republic Patrol. I mean, 45 health. Every ship's got a 180 degree arc. Uh, could be very powerful. All right, so now looking at our current positioning, you got those Y-Wings at the top of the board. I mean, my understanding with this list, whenever we've seen them play, uh, they're going to stay mostly in a, in a, in a tight bunch. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily formation, but uh, they want to make sure that they can leverage the, the dorsal turret. Now, I find it interesting that, that Daniel has this pink Y-Wing kind of offset from the others. Now, I, under, I understand, obviously, you can't stack... You know, right. a, a line of three and line of two without doing a hard turn. You know, one of, one of these uh, from the onset. Right. But um, you know, the, those Y wings have barrel. He could have set them up. He could have he could have gotten that more in line with the other ones if he wanted to. Um, we'll we'll see how it ends up happening. One of the issues I have seen, though, uh, when these Y wings get caught out, is if the if the 
other player has ships that are able to range control and stay at range three, because he's, they have only uh, you know one agility, you can end up plinking away quite a bit of damage, uh, especially with how thick those uh, those shield carriers are. Uh, I think that is what uh, what Joe is going to need to do. Play it patient. Don't uh, don't overextend. You, what you don't want to end up doing is taking a ship like Kylo, or I mean, let's just say any of these ships, and putting them in all five of those dorsal turret arcs because the limitation for that is going to be that range two. So maybe oh, maybe you have one line of ships at range two, sure, and the other one is is at range three, which is going to be out of arc. Okay, and we see the. The faint here from Hollow and Rebus. I was concerned that they were just gonna bank on in and uh, be exactly what you said in every single arc. Mm -hmm. uh, but it looks like they're gonna be getting away, so I had to assume that we're gonna see a little barrel boost or maybe uh, from Hollow if he wants to, but should be able to get out of there. And then, yeah, uh, getting these on the flank. Now, I did want to double check on the arcs. I uh -huh. believe every arc is facing out like this. Yep, every, everything is facing the, to the right. Yeah, the pointed markers, right? So, interesting. Uh, most people would set them to the inside, but maybe he was planning on setting up a K-turn. If you K-turn, your dorsal yep. flips, to, flips the other to the other side. side yeah. I mean, it's it, weird it, to think about it that way, but it it does. It de yeah, it de definitely depends on the approach, and I could see if a player was, if the Y wing player wants to play the come to me game. I mean, you just you just do that, right? They have a 5k, you end up 5king, uh, you flip it, and then you're fine. But hollow hollow being there um, might cause some issues. I think the Y wings so. have the path if they want it. Now it's out this way. It did not look like he was in Hollow's arc when he did that. Oh no, he was. Nice. That's that watchful astromech. E -uh, e -uh. No wait, that's a transformer. I don't know why I just did oh, that. It's e -uh, e -uh. E -uh, the, the transformers. Transformers, robots in disguise. E -uh, e -uh, when they like transform. Sure, yeah, of course. Right. No. <laughs> Chad, back me up. Back me up on that one. Come on. <laughs> Come on, uh, the Transformers, that's the, the, totally the sound it makes. Okay, so while, while we're doing some positioning here, I did want to mention, uh, uh, can you bring up uh, Enhanced Jamming Suites? That's, uh, that's the main upgrade to talk that, about. Sweet. Main upgrade to talk about Wylo out here. He has a three-force using ship uh, with a three-die bullseye and a two-die rotating turret. But the main thing is the enhanced jamming suite allowing him to focus or reposition into a jam action in addition you can jam yourself and friendlies but while a friendly ship is in the attack arc while you're defending you get to roll an additional die and if the opponent doesn't have a green token you get mm -hmm. an additional die so it's uh it's like adding jam and uh, like a stealth device to your ship. Oh for yeah, free. For, for free. Get for it. Free. Now, uh, one thing I want to address is uh, if you were a viewer yesterday, and maybe you heard about it, uh, we actually we absolutely smashed the uh, the Las Vegas, the stream prizes for yesterday. But I told you guys that uh, that I had uh, I had I had a plan. So today we actually have. Besides the top prize, because obviously we gave away that painted ship, we have the same. We have everything the same available. We have all those, all those pairs of regional dice. We got them all, and at the top prize, we actually have one of these Las Vegas open mats. The one that you're seeing played on right now. That one exactly w will be uh, given away as our top prize today if we hit our goal. And uh, that's, you know, no, no pressure, just kind of putting up. There has to be a goal, and that's what we got out there. Now, Wilo coming in. Looking. Yep, I like this lanes here that they're finding. Good pursuit lanes. Uh, just get, get this out of here. Can I see the Wilo dial again? Bam. Looking at that okay. tie whisper. 
Yeah, they don't have the one bank. Or one forward. Okay. Still amazing dial, though, to be honest with you. Look at those four different turnaround maneuvers. Whew. SBC captain. I have to pay money for that bet? N no. It's... It's digital points, baby. <laughs> yeah, exclamation point points. Yeah. You'll earn a little bit when you uh, when you start watching. Subscribers get a little bit more. Do they get more when you subscribe or more per hour? They, when when you subscribe, you get a little bump Okay. then. Uh, and just being active in the chat gets you, sure, du gets sure. you double points. Oh, that's okay. That's what it yeah. is. Yeah, so let us know. All right, we got a first shot here. Double blanks from... Uh, why low? Now what you want to see? All right. Here we go. Double focus. You got him. Got three of them. And it looks like Joe's going to go ahead and spend the focus for breach. Blank out okay. on that. And that's going to end up being three damage. No, in, no, that's an ion missile. That is an ion missile. You're ionized on that pink Y-wing, and that's another shield, single shield down Man, that, uh, on that one. That weapon system officer doing some work out there right now. My brain was thinking uh, ion um, torpedo, Tor the four dice. That's why. Okay, we uh, got a rear arc attack here onto Breach. One for one. And... That's probably the only other shot. Yeah, this is out. This is out. This is probably out. Yep, probably the only shot there. And to answer Lambolo's question in the chat, I cannot answer that for you, my friend. You take a look at the end of this game, and you decide where that is. You got to feel good about it, because if you don't feel good about it, then it's not worth it. Double crits coming in from Daniel. And single evade. There, we're getting the Y-Wings going. That's going to be a first damage. And that was into uh, into Hollow, I believe. Yeah, sure was. That was in range. Okay, doing some early damage there. Uh, so, so on, and that, that brings up uh, my point of... Why would you take the strain over deplete? It's because you want people to shoot at Rebus. Mm -hmm. Bait them in with that delicious reduced agility. Being told to order your food earlier. Apparently it's my fault that we didn't have chinkin fingers for you yesterday for lunch. <laughs> what? I still got chicken. I know. Bambolo did drop some souls. There it is. Also. 17 right there. Nice. Exclamation point 17. A super awesome. I know we did get uh, some things uh, to supplement. Yeah. Today. Yeah. Then um, also, uh, you know, our giveaway sponsor, District Foundry, uh, he got a new product up for today. We would talk about it a little bit, and maybe, maybe I, I could prototype. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I could get him to. Uh, I know he's listening right now. Maybe I can get him to give us one mm. of the. Uh, we cool. we are calling it. I want to make sure. Uh, actually, it looks like our breakfast might be here. Uh, nearby, nearby, very soon. Uh, what, what did, what did, how did he, um, the wizard ship is uh, what, what we have oh, to call it. The wizard. The wizard ship. So the if, wizard. if you know what we're talking about, uh, and you watch the book of Boba Fett, uh, this week, then, uh, it is a, uh, a 3D, uh, 3D printed model of that wizard ship so maybe uh maybe we can get one of those uh, but you can get yourself one of those by going uh to district foundry on etsy exclamation point df uh to check that out it's so wizard all right lord of britannia is the book of boba fett worth it I'm having fun. 
I like, I like, I like, I, I like the world. I like the world building, and we're getting to know him as a person. People are just mad because he's not just walking in pe- into places and shooting things up. Yeah. Like I want, I want my comic he's, book Boba Fett. I'm like, no, he's a real dude, man. Let the no, guy I be like, a real dude. I like him. He's been building relationships, and you yeah. see how he interacts with people. It's very cool. Jay Soccer said, "So not a spoiler. I can't. I have to. That's a, that's a, that's as good as I gotta. As close as I can really get to also talk about my sponsor's product <laughs> and uh, will, yeah. and not do spoilers. So yeah, it is uh, something that's totally wizard. That's all I can say. It's badly written but fun. Ah, that's it's objective. I for for me, it's like, are you having fun? Yeah. All right. Cool. The, the, the writing was perfect then. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. But well, here we go. We got K turns coming in from uh, from a couple of those Y wings, which effectively do flip that arc, like we did mention. Right. I nice one, of course, doing the one forward. Keep that arc in the back. Let's see. Now, green didn't rotate. Gonna keep the arc to the side here. Maybe trying to catch Kylo range two like that, or breach coming in um, for that torp. And this is, in my opinion, this is the downfall of the wartime loadout is you do not boost very often. Uh, now you do have a decent... Uh, I'm going to step away for a minute. Okay. Go get the food. No worries, no worries. Yeah, meet that. Yeah, because the boost is red and you only have uh, limited blues on that dial, uh, they don't boost very often. I do like the watchful Astromax, though. Uh, to get some modification. Uh, why turn your ship? We could turn your turret. So, pretty interesting there. It looks like we have a bullseye jam. And we were looking for the Rebus being able to pick up a target lock if the ship that got the token um, was in range zero to two. No, I say I think it's one to two. Let's double check. I believe it's one to two actually. Yes, it's not range zero. It's to balance out like blocking, I have to assume. All right, we got some shots here. No predator, no uh, modifications there for Kylo Ren. Just a single hit. Move with Brilliant Evasion uh, over uh, the uh, typical Predator. I think it's the right call, though. Advanced Proton Torpedo coming in. Uh, Rerolls for a blank. Uh, and then gets to convert to the crit. Uh, the eyeball got jammed off. So how many, I think that shield's going underneath the hull and we have a weapons failure oh no number pink why let's go panicked or no not panicked sorry weapons let's see if we got let's see if we uh there it is. Weapons failure. Love those animations. All right. So we'll see what uh, what we got in return fire here. Let's go with the, it looks like we're starting with the unmodified range one. Devil blanks. Not helpful. Let's go. That's probably that side arc here. My feet to breach. There we go. Hit crit coming in. See if we can get some shields off of breach, and we do. Okay. Okay. 
I mean, if you can trade Breach for one of these Y-Wings, that's a good trade. Okay, this is one hit from that dorsal easy evade. All right, let's see what, uh, what else we got here. Looks like the K-turned ones are just out. Okay. Yeah, a little late on that hollow pass, but uh, super good as well. Uh, I really enjoy hollow. The ability to go from a super K-turn ship where you go 5k throw the stress two sloop throw the stress two sloop like over and over and over again so uh maneuverable for a time on target but what you can also do is that if you find yourself out of range or uh, low priority you can actually be throwing your uh, green tokens your focuses your evades forward into combat uh, so this could be an opportunity for uh, like a hard three, burr roll, and then be able to pass uh, tokens all around up in here, uh, get it to Rebus or potentially a uh, Wylo. Uh, with brilliant evasion and a evade token slung to you, you could really start taking some target locks. Hmm. Let's see here. Yeah, Sub Hedgehog. I I think I would build out this Wylo squad just a little bit differently. Mm, I really like my missiles on Kylo. I want to be a three dice or rear arc ship. I want to be a turret who can fly away from you. And still continue with my mods. Now, Joe, though, in his build, he is ready to be doing some knife fighting, some arc dodging, some range one jams. He wants to be up in the grill, uh, getting out to that enhanced jamming suite. As long as he's not in the bullseye, he can use his force for that brilliant evasion. We'll still have that back up on the screen. So here's. Here's the upgrades that Kylo brought. Brilliant evasion. So basically his force can modify two defensive dice as long as it's on the bullseye. Pretty easy here with these turrets. And then fanatical. If he ever does get shields down, you can really start saving all of your modification for defense and uh, allow fanatical to modify your offense then. So. Good combination. But I really would like that missile out there. But uh, Joe could just be trusting in getting the bullseye. We will see. All right, let's take a look at here. Uh, Dom, Jake is, but point for point, Jake is probably the best pilot in the galaxy, agreed. All right, so a lot of damage done, but look at this, 20 points. Oh man, so chunky. And we are eating up a lot of time here uh, with these, Y wings moving around. Just this is so chunky. You're gonna take round after round. And with Kylo throwing blanks all day, he's not really contributing. Breach has basically been single handedly taking down this Y wing.
All right, so let's see. So pink is going to be dipping out here. I wonder if he'll boost. Just to keep some space. Let's see. I'm trying to think here. Barrel boost. Well, you got zero modifications then, hollow. If you do it like that. So we'll see. We'll see. I mean, okay, not me. But Lulo is 10 more points than Jake, though. And Lulo can't support. Okay, so look at the, we got some great arc coverage here coming this way and this way right now. Do, 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 do. Looking like this, that's super good. Yeah, basically covering this whole region. From this asteroid to here, all this, that's the kill box. These Y-wings are setting up and Breach is heading right into it. Because that's the the problem with these two dice Y wings. In reality, we saw yesterday with the Hawk versus Imperial Aces matchup that once you get behind, it's hard to convince your opponent to keep fighting you. You're traditionally slow. You don't have a big four dice attack you, uh, for burst of damage. Uh, it is truly just the uh, war of attrition here with these guys. I agree. I agree, uh, Fairy? Fur? I can't read it. I'm, I'm too far away. Lambolo! Drop another 17 subs. Uh, you are too kind, sir, but I really appreciate everything you do to help us out. Uh, we're going to begin showing off a bunch of prizes um, we got planned here i don't think dion had time to set up one of those uh beautiful displays he likes to do with the the sub goals and things maybe it did he's a workaholic so he might have found the time uh in between us playing board games and going out for burgers and even some late night blackjack uh, maybe you found the time to do it, but we will see. Regardless, or regardless, we got some amazing stuff we want to share with the community. So I really appreciate everyone's support here. Lambolo uh, dropping a bunch of subs already this morning. Everybody who dropped subs yesterday, uh, we had just an explosive uh, round of... Uh, things. Nick, jump in. Oh, cool. Join, join me in. Uh, yeah, well, so you can hear me, I guess. Cool. All right, give me a test. No, this isn't doing anything. Not You're doing talking anything. Test that. one, two. Oh my goodness. Clapping okay, perfect. How you been today? Good. What's up, guys? More X-wing today. Big turnout yesterday. Thanks everyone for watching, supporting GSP. I'm wearing my GSP stuff today. As well. Oh yeah. I just kind of knew I was gonna be here. I got a Slammy Cat uh, on. If you guys don't know, uh, Nick has worked with us for a long time. Runs 312 uh, Chicago as well. Big, I do. Big fan. Yes. Big fan <laughs> of GSP as well. You know. well I'm, I'm a patron. I'm a patron. That's fair. I mean, <laughs> we, we like the support. Uh, it, it might be some sort of weird money laundering scheme that we're <laughs> paying sure. our employers. For, but. Yeah. There's a lot of theories that we've had. <laughs> We, we played some blackjack with Dio, and it's like, all right, so, like, our livelihoods are in his hands. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> he did uh, very well, folks. Not surprising. Uh, it's a game of math. Oh, yeah. Hey, Davin. Good to see you, man. Jay, man. What's up? Davin. Uh, I saw uh, Darren here, actually. He was playing some Legion. Uh, so it was pretty cool. He was telling me about the local community. Unfortunately, it's all bad news. <laughs> But we got three dice coming in here. Gonna spin the focus and take just two. That means it's gonna take one more shot to kill the first nine health Republic Y-Wing. 
or Republic Y wing. Uh, resistance. A lot of Y wings I've noticed. The last uh, they, yesterday, today. They're popular. surprisingly okay. Like <laughs> I don't, yeah. I don't know what they have the a lot uh, of health. That's for sure. Uh, these wartime ones, yeah, they're they're pretty chunky. I'm just now still kind of wrapping my head around what's going on here, but matchup is cool. But FO with the, sh the short advantage early on here, but 35 minutes the way through. Yeah, the, the problem is, yeah, everybody's looking at Breach right here. So uh, we're, we're wondering if uh, Joe and Daniel here will trade one Y-Wing for Breach to be a, a huge... That's that's the trade that I would yeah, make. Yeah, of course, yeah. It's 51 to 40, so... Right. Uh, and we saw Kylo peace out. Kylo's uh, go, just going to trail along in front of these Y-Wings, lead them on a little adventure. Okay. Hey, Crick coming in. That Taking. was a three dice attack. I wonder if that was... I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? I bet it was this shot. I bet gotcha. that's what it was. Hmm. Okay. Because I believe that was Green who lost that shield, so. Perfect. I see three cards on pink. Takes a while to get back to, you know, to get, getting used to this. Yeah, In three. person commentary. No, no, yeah, yeah. Well, three cards would be perfect because the... Uh, that Y-Wing should be at one health. They, that is. It's, it's very confusing to see a ship with more shields than hull. Yeah. I, it, I think the New Republic Control might be the only one outside of, like, a shield upgrade B-Wing. So, ooh, so we did get half points on Breach here. Found a damage. Yep, took one there. All right. It's, like, just outside of range one for this next shot. Oh. Double blanks. Saddies. Yeah, these Y-Wings kind of start setting up some target locks when they can. Oh, defenders, obviously. Duh. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Defenders? Who plays defenders? <laughs> okay, so I think that's going to be one more damage on Breach. Someone did uh, ask about... Uh, Breach will stand there. I think he's, gonna, he's out of the shot. Someone was asking, did you shoot ion missiles twice before this round? He did. He's, he's shot all of his ion missiles. Uh, this is a range one. These are not the shots you want to see trying to get... You got the half on breach. I don't but. know what he's... Oh, he was debating using it or spending it. Okay. okay. I'll, always, always nice to see your uh, target lock convert eyeballs. Yes. It's very satisfying. I always enjoy that when I play Luke, rolling all eyeballs and all eyeballs. It's my favorite <laughs> thing. <laughs> all right, guys. Dion is back with his food. Thank you so much for having me, Will. Thanks for having me. And back to Dion. Thanks for coming in. Thanks. Thanks, Nick. Back, all right. That should be... I turned that off, by the way. Just in case it got bumped or something. Oh, yeah. So, 36 minutes and change left on the clock. Where are we at score-wise? 20 to 26. Uh, yeah, uh, right now, both the Breach and the New Republic were down to one health. Remaining fire going into green here. Uh, Going to take one more shield off of green. All right, another one off green. So, neither... Uh, Neither player able to take the uh, the ship off the board, but because Breach is worth uh, 51 versus 40. Exactly, that puts the lead in Daniels, and that's that's huge. We I uh, was talking about how we saw the Hawks versus Imperial Aces, right? If you're slow moving turrets versus fast Aces, mm -hmm. they can just leave you in the dust when they're up in points. They are. Those Y-Wings, though, they got boost, right? They do have boost. They do. Oh, he shot at two different ones. Let me double check. and I'll double check because it's he's missing his shield off of two different ones. Yeah. So let me let me see if that it was green and what other color that was. Cool, cool, cool. So we'll get a double check on that one just to be sure.
The list disappeared because I made it disappear. I was taking a look at the cards. Black what? Black Panther? Black Mamba? All right, what's 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 uh, what's up? Just one shield. So, him what? and Green are at four and four. Okay, and then Pink Pink is still is is in fact at one hole. Oh yeah. All right, cool. Some people are saying that it's possibly at two hole, but I don't know. Oh, you know what? This is why. It was an ion. It was an ion. Thank you, chat. Oops. Yeah, because that was the third ion missile. We see it down here as well. Three three ion missiles used already in the advanced proton torpedo. Mm -hmm. uh, Breach has done his job. Uh, just needs to get that counter net out. And here it is. Oh, oh okay. So system phase. Then Revis. All right, Revis moving. Taking a focus action. Next ship up. Are the Y wings? Yeah. Keeping it simple, one straight. Well, he's, he's ionized. He didn't have a choice. Do you want to? Well, that's that that's is the simple. most keeping it simple, <laughs> isn't it? When you don't even have a Demon, choice. Demon set the dial. I mean, yeah. I, mean, I expect. Boop. Just blast the ship. Blast them. Goodbye. Thank you for the points. I mean, there there is another Y wing there. I think that is the green Y wing that could give some support potentially, right yeah, here to threaten out. Hollow. But uh, yeah, Hollow lost that early shield from uh, a range three attack. Th that's what makes me feel a little cagey about it. It's like I but but I don't want to because right now the the pink's arc is to the back if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, is it, we're getting bad. some wa some watchful astromech. Is he pointing away from Hollow? He's pointing away from Hollow. Okay. Okay. Well, well. N now Hollow, ho Hollow's like this is okay. This is good. And it looks like we're trying to probably just set up a box on breach, right? Take that thing out. Yeah. Just gonna focus here. Already has the shot on uh, Lieutenant Rebus right there, so no time, no need to set up a lock for later. Just modify the shot you got. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we're dropping a focus there. Oh, I mean, worst case scenario, I and a two straight to get out of the corner with the purple Y wing. Some people calling for a K turn on Breach. That wouldn't be long enough. I don't think he's got one. Where is this? Here it is. I don't think he's got one. I think they only got Sloop. Sloop to dupe. So we'll see if he's. Is sloop he would to be sloop risky business. Way? He might be. I guess he is. I don't think that fits. Not you today. Know. We'll give him a range one shot, though. Not yesterday or tomorrow. It's not happening. Yeah. Would have been cool to set up. I know this part, yeah. Would have been cool to set up that breach target lock. Mm -hmm. Sloop over for him. Shoot the range one. Three dice with the target lock. Easy. Uh, perfect loser. Uh, subscribed with uh, Prime exclamation point Prime. But Lam Bolo, he dropped another 17 while you were gone, by the way. Dude. Oh, okay. Now I was dropping all, another 17. All in, all in round one. I told him, like, so you can wait to see the prizes. No pressure. You don't <laughs> got to do it right away. All right. Thank you. We, I mean, we appreciate it. Yeah, I ain't going to say no. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and we got, we got things. Get some lands in the chat. Let's get some lands oh, yeah. in the chat. We got, we got, uh, we got some things. Uh, was, some gifts we would like to share with everybody. Mm -hmm. So it will it is definitely not in uh, in vain here. We really do appreciate it. Yeah, Lambello, so wizard. <laughs> you gotta love how the prequels have become like endearing to to people. 
Just like I, the, the attitude change has has been interesting. Like I've, I, mean, I, I, I always. Whoa, whoa. What? What happened? What was that? It's a nice one hard. That's what it was. Okay. It's a good, it's a good maneuver. <laughs> All right. Gonna take a strain. Yeah. I'm surprised he's not, not taking the deplete. Well, because him and Breach are the same initiative, he could pass his focus over to Breach while he target locks green. I guess, I guess you know what, though? It, Hollow's not getting shot. The strain right. is perfect. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry I doubted you, Joe. <laughs> I'm sorry I doubted you. Right, we were just talking about how green rotated his arc not to shoot at Hollow. Mm-hmm. Gambler Tuba, I said it in real time before you typed it. I win, <laughs> not you. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is uh, a three die attack coming in. I think this is the range one from Breach going into pink. Mm -hmm. yep. And there you go, three at range one. Let's, just, let's do it. And that's going to finish off that pink Y wing. Ends with a double damage. Yeah, that'll do it. Uh. Oh yeah. Get him. All right, and with that decision making, because they're all at the same initiative, Breach shot the only ship he could, and now Hollow is gonna follow up on the other one. Of course, if the pink Y Wing hadn't died, he, Hollow would have just shot that same ship. But now it's gonna be having the opportunity range one into green. Looking looking good right now. You got to focus. You just do the target lock. Yeah, he's double checking, making sure he's not in anybody's arc. That's right. So goes for the lock first. Go for max damage, and yes. you're going to get it. Three hits and a crit. Looking at that green Y wing. Gets a Oops. focus. Got you, to calculate. It's worth it. You don't have any. You, you're not shooting anybody. Yeah, yes. Revis. He's shooting Revis. Where's Re right Where Revis at? It's right behind him. I don't. I literally don't see the shit. Oh, it's behind him. Yep. Yep. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> it's like there's. Literally Sorry. No I, I was front. looking. Uh, <laughs> I was looking here. Oh, fair enough. Spot. Fair enough. Fair enough. No, that's why he rotated it back because he knew he had that shot versus the I one. And he did end up spending the calculates. So that's going to be three damage going into the green Y wing. That shields down. Mm -hmm. That's half points as well. Sixty to twenty six here. Joe is going to have to. Take Breach off the board and start doing some damage. Honestly, if that one damage on Hollow as well would, could be enough to spook that ship out of here. So it looks like we have Bullseye Kylo. Ooh, lo lo looking a little uh, how's, soft out how's, there. How's your force? Oh, yeah, he's tapping his fingers. Yeah, yeah, he says, yeah you just nah, leave, leave it at one. It's not worth it. This is my end game piece. No, thank you. I didn't bring brilliant evasion on my ship to spend my force on offense. Right. Don't use it in the bull side of this ship, though. No brilliant evasion there. And he's not getting anything. To remove the strain, then? Yep. Unless he's shooting at Kylo. Going out the back. I'm having trouble. Where is Kylo? Oh, there it is. It's off the base. That's a that's a peg violation. <laughs> Two hits. Spend the after spending the focus. Defending. So strange. Spend for one. Just loses the shield on Revis. Revis is absolutely baiting this list. That's right. <laughs> Please. Not really shoot want me. to shoot at the ship, but you also, you know. Having one less ship out there, one less ship for Hollow to dump tokens off to. Uh huh. So there is a benefit at least. Squall 25. Thanks for joining us in. The Phantom Menace trailer. Every generation has a legend. So that's true. That's true. And double focus. Spend some force there. On Kylo. Only one. Only one. You only needed one. 
Jetpack Shock saying that. There should be another shield somewhere. So single hit. Single crit and a oh, blank. And that's gonna have a crit pushing through. And that's a direct hit going on to Breach, and I think... No, no, that's, that's Revis. Oh, that's Revis, you're right. Revis going down to one. Short and little You said there. Revis, and then you make me look bad by repeating what you said. I trusted, I trusted you. Trusted you. Blank and a focus. Trip, uh, take, the, take the overlay off for just a second here. Is that why we're still sitting on one shield over here? Clip clop, there it is. So this is the dead one. With all these damage cards. Yeah, there is a shield. There he is right here. Yep, so we're good. So I actually did not gain half points. So we still got one shield. He does have one shield, yeah. All right, so that's cool. correct. So you can put the, put the overlay back. So did not score half points that round on that Y wing, which that. ties it mm -hmm. up. Mm-hmm, we tied, tied up. Okay. 40 to 40. Yeah, Dak, I, I'm not a big fan of that split fire. You need to take a ship off the board. Gambler too, but I think the shot he had on Breach, that fir very first one, is what missed. Because the first one he rolled a uh, bunch of blanks and they did not remove the strain off of Rebus until the second shot, so. I think he took every shot he could at breach, but it was only that that single shot. All right. Nano Antonio saying, I noticed ever since deficit scoring was implemented, a lot more games have been within points of each other. Hmm. I can't I can't say necessarily there's a correlation there. Um, I think with the way that the points lay out, it's not surprising that we get, uh, you know, maybe ties more often. Sure. And Breach. Breach is one hole away from uh, allowing Daniel Lara to pull in the lead. Green Y wing keeping it simple. One bank to the right. Remember that arc is still currently to the back. Like trying to trying to stop that two sloop from mm -hmm. uh, from Hollow. Though he does still have that big 5K open as well. Yep. And and Joe Joe is showing that he, he lacks his sloops. And we'll see what happens. All right, a little side-to-side -side action on the Y-Wings to get that hard two over Kylo. For anybody watching uh, who maybe just tuned in, go ahead and circle Kylo for me. This is Kylo. He's cloaked, and he's not actually cloaked. So see this guy's going to bump. Looks like he's going to bump just ever so slightly here. Okay, so let's keep a track of. Mm -hmm. So I believe this guy is supposed to be back arc because that's what it was last round. Mm -hmm. Let's take a focus. This guy is shooting here. This guy is shooting here. I mean, D Daniel's Daniel's list is built to to weather the storm, right? Mm -hmm. Like Joe Joe is a couple of shots away from losing half of his list. There you go. Look at look at this. Look at this big kill box right in here. So he's Daniel's doing what he needs to do, man. Corralling the first order and getting them into that range two. Mm hmm Kylo should be full force. Yeah. He spent one on defense last round, I believe. I don't think it's gonna matter too much. You know what? I f we've forgotten to put by the table the walkie-talkie. That way we don't have to get up and yell at things. 
I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. That'd be fun. I mean, we have it. <laughs> That's true. That's what it's there for. Right. Next round. I promise we'll remember. Probably not. That's okay. Well, we're not really supposed to be talking to them, but... This is true. Uh, maybe I'm not phrasing that right. We, <laughs> we, we shouldn't. We <laughs> we're not supposed to be interfering with the game. That's I right. think is the 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 words I would choose. Oh man, a little uh, miscalculation here from Joe. He busted the, uh, the the longer straight maneuver with breach. And uh, is going to end up bumping with Hollow. Oh, yeah. they got, he, uh, he could have got himself the space by boosting with Breach instead, going for the reload. This would be, I think, a little upsetting for Joe if he uh, ends up potentially wasting an action on a reload and you pop Breach w without ever getting a shot, and well, maybe you take more damage on Hollow. See this? This it was getting greedy because he looked at that rear arc dorsal and was like, "Oh, I'm out of arc." Yeah, not, not anymore. But now that shot's going to go into hollow. X Ace 87. He's got for 18 months. Thank you. With that Prime Gaming, exclamation point Prime. If you already got Amazon Prime, find out how you can get a free sub That's to... Right. Gold Squadron. Watch all of our on-demand videos. That's right. You get you get instant access to all. Like if, if you're a Prime sub or you're just a, a subscriber, you have the ability to watch yes yesterday's action. Uh, if not, you're gonna have to wait for it to drop on YouTube. Uh, which I mean, we'll be soon. We'll be putting up them up next oh, week. Sure. But if you want it now, mm -hmm. then you, you know what you gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And just a reminder, remember, we're commentating with masks on, so uh, it might sound a little different. Somebody was commentating that we sound different, you know. It's not it's not the same, <laughs> of course. Wow. My vo I can already feel my voice fading as well. Yeah, we've been, ta we've been talking a lot. Yelling over the casino crowds here. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like we got two hits and a crit. Uh, focus result over there on that Y-wing. Yep, so this is this is Kylo to this wiring right here. Yep. I guess it was in the bullseye and at range two. It's gonna be two damage. Uh I'm not sure what color that one is. Oh, that, it's, it's green because it doesn't have structural damage, I believe that's that one. Yeah. Yeah. Does a structural damage on green? Yep, yep. No agility. And here we go. Daniel's up. He's at range one. Two hits and a focus. He got the natties. He was not punished. We needed that. Uh, Joe, 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 Joe just Joe looked up at me. Joe, Joe just looked at me and went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, that could have been devastating. Losing. <laughs> Losing hollow right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why spend the force? He wants to hold on to that focus for defense. Maybe. Focus replaced on Kylo. Now that we finish checking the range there. And looks like it is a range one shot. Here we go. Double focus and a crit. And safe. Easy, baby. Easy. Daniel Lara trying to see if he can get some more points. He's got two ships out there on a single hull. A dorsal turret with these two dice. Consistent. But again, only two dice is going into Kylo Ren. So I'll spend the focus. We see enhanced jamming sweep. This should be the last shot for the Y-Wings. So. Oh, but he, he remembers that he 
I hadn't spent any force yet this round, so yeah. just spends it. If he would be full. He did spend one, right? He spent one. That was the last round. I think he would be at one force, not two, because he he would have started full. He spent one earlier on defense and then one now. So he should be at one. If I'm not mistaken. Hit crit crit. I think this is just gonna clean out green. Blinded, Blinded pilot. Got no eyes. And some more. And now, now you got even more direct. If you ever play on the GSP stream and you want to show us what a crit is, please put it in the box. Touching the box. In the box. Yes. We love the effort. We love the effort. He got no dice. Because that's structural damage. Forcing and change left. <laughs> Revis clinging to life and cleaning up the breaches and hollow messes. Yeah, lay it flat in the box, Epionic. You got it. Mm hmm. Got to pre prepare for your guys' debut. <laughs> yeah, that dice cam is uh, a lot, uh, what do I want to say? Uh, more zoomed in than you Than can you imagine. think, yeah. yeah. It's, do it's doing a lot of work. All right, well. So right now, 80 to 40. Joe, even though he's got two ships with only one hole. Uh, yeah, you got to get Breach out. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yep. So they can take this lane for about... So you want to go inside that egg. Yeah. In the egg zone. Yeah, you can take that lane for a turn or two while you... So you got to cut them off down here. You got to cut them off around this obstacle. Did, unless Kylo's going to cut back in early. While I was gone, did um, did Breach pop off the advanced proton torpedo? He, he did. Has, he did. That's what he reloaded. That's what he reloaded. Got mm -hmm. it. All right. I'd like to see Breach pop off one more of those before he goes down. I that'd think be nice. that'd, be, that'd be a good trade for, for Joe. Uh, if I'm Daniel, you don't want that. That's <laughs> You want to make sure you're firing. If you're trading shots with Breach, it's at range two or three. Uh, I think it's time to start utilizing that front arc. Mm -hmm. For the Y wings, mm -hmm. get some pursuit lanes there. Because with with Revis uh, and Breach being at one hole, you just got you just got to slip one hit through. You just got to slip one through. That's true. I, uh, so I'm trying to think of so boost hard three. Mm -hmm. Boost, well maybe boost four forward. Yeah, but these guys got one two. Yeah, so you can you can get a torp down over here if you want. What are you willing, willing to bet, Dion? <laughs> you gonna double down on that breach after the reload? Oh yeah. There you go. Just put them wherever you want, Joe. <laughs> just, just get it. It happens all the time. All right. According to Lambolo, he's saying that he's coming for Kaliana there at the top spot. But before we talk about that, shout out to MKNO808 for subbing and Copper Blue for dropping five subs. But yeah, it sounds like uh, Lambolo's coming for Kelliana. All right. All right. Where is this going to go Y-Wing? This is edge to edge. Looks clean, looks clean. Mm -hmm. This has got bear rolls and boost, don't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know where this guy got his, uh, his Rebel sh shirt at, but I think it's pretty sweet. Which one, the, the, the spectator? The, the, the spectator, yeah. It's looking fresh. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Nice shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's, what's up, Matt? <laughs> How you doing, man? I got my heels on. 
Nice. It was pretty cool. We actually, uh, there was a couple people walking around yesterday with the USA jersey. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was like, oh, that's cool to see. <laughs> All right, before I forget, Matt, let me give you toys and things. There you go. Thank you. Bag's just a little lighter. <laughs> oh, Tyco 1707 coming in as that okay. Y Wings bust in the three bank. Coming in so with 20. Tyco. What does that put us at? 109 for the day already, Dion? We are at 109. Well, you guys are going to have to stick around. We're still doing t shirts every round to that's, you, that's to right. the Grand Admirals. Mm, well. You make me want to not stop giving out t-shirts. Oh, Bre Breach is like, yeah, I need a minute. Yeah, <laughs> I got more really loaded to do. Yeah, I'll he'll, he'll be coming around the mound. It gives him a, uh, a range three option as well that allows him to take away the range bonus mm -hmm. on these Y-Wings, which does well, have its value. I mean, the... I mean, the weapon system officer mm -hmm. has been really clutch for breach this round. Now, granted, it it took um I think every single missile and torpedo he had to take down the Y wing, but that will happen when you're only doing one damage and attack on a nine health ship. But uh, yeah, uh, Joe was talking up. He's like, man, I really put a lot of points into this breach, and he has shown. Uh, the, an effective skill with it during the game. Uh, Jeff Wilder, we actually, I actually did experiment with something like that. We can talk about it in a minute as Kylo goes out and busts a jam out there. So I'm a three agility ship against you, at least. Hmm, that's interesting. Nano Antonio, we got some pipe cleaners. <laughs> pipe cleaners. Yeah. They work pretty good. They, yeah. I uh, want to swap out the blue one for the lighter blue, though, because yeah. it, it, gets, it gets a little hard to see between the black. Yeah, the black and the purple. Yeah. I, li I like the bright colors. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, nice. my goodness. We got we got to get it on stream, Will. We got, I, need, I need to trigger people. The 75 minutes of people going, I hate this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I can't look away. All right. <laughs> That's so great. I'm uh, super in on that. One hit, double focus, and it looks like we are safe. Can you go ahead? It's a while heading into the corner here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I like this uh, spreading out the first order because yeah, when in my drawings here, it would have made an easy direction to find out where everybody in the first order is going. It's really, really good. Uh, like I said, I still, still would like some sort of missile on my Kylo to get uh, a three dice attack, either cluster missiles or concussion, maybe. Two hits. But doing, doing a lot of work here. And we'll see what it gets. And that's going to be, I think, our first Shoot. scratch of the paint on Kylo Ren. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's... He's doing that just a little bit of floating, just enough to draw some aggro without putting himself in too much of danger. Mm -hmm. All right, nothing else going on here. Jeff Sanders requesting that we come down to Australia. Like our, we, we divert our flight to Sydney and then go back, to, back home to Chicago uh, because they're doing their first community event in Australia since the pandemic began the next weekend. I would uh, love that. My wife would be a little upset. Yeah, uh, you know, Jeff, <laughs> just uh, send us, you know, your contact information and we'll forward the invoice. The invoice, the, the, the invoice yeah. <laughs> That'll be a few. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be back. We will be back in Australia at some point. Promise. Oh, yeah. it'll, it'll happen. I still, I still have to go. Um, I promised uh, the UK that we would go. Mm -hmm. So uh, we got, we got to hit up the UK at some point. That's a trip that Devin wants to go. She's like, I gotta go. <laughs> uh, Azagal, have you considered STO? Please don't use. I, 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 I hate abbreviations that I don't know. STO. What, what is STO? Saint Thomas Open. <laughs> 
in like the Virgin Islands? Not, all right. Oh, all right, Ozzy I don't know. But, oh, Sith Taker Open. Sith Taker. Okay. Is that what it is? Okay. Yeah, is it, isn't, that been, next, isn't that next weekend too? No, yeah. I, I, I can't. I can't make that. I, I would love to. If they wouldn't have told me maybe two weeks before, maybe I could have planned it. Yeah, maybe. I planned for it. Uh, set no, up a camera no. and send us the feed, and we will commentate on that. You know what? I, I would do that. I could do that. You get somebody to set up a camera. We can do some, some te- technology magic. If you got some decent internet in that place. And uh, we can make it happen. Uh, do, do not want to miss out on CC Jack 3, or Jax 3, I think it says. Once again, into the breach of the Prime <laughs> Gaming into subscription. Into the breach. And yeah, of course, if you guys have somebody local, they'll, 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 they'll do it. And the y- Y-Wing's creeping. I mean, yeah, Daniel so Daniel knows also that a breach is a coming. He's a coming. Yeah, there is. So there is a wooden condition here. You can get there. If you can do two damage to Kylo and one damage to Rebus, I believe you're up ahead. But you can't lose any more halves. Would that put him ahead? If Rebus just died. And oh, Hollow oh. might be clipping that debris. Clip clop. That that's a clip, no? Landed flat. What? Wiggle room. Get some wiggle wiggle in the chat. We need to make an animated uh, animated wiggle wiggle <laughs> uh, emote. Wiggle room. Com- coming. Uh, I won't be able to do it today, <laughs> but uh, we'll go the next weekend. Fair enough. Oh, there you go. There you go. You could you could use that one as the wiggle. <laughs> okay, so it takes the lock, strain, and focus. I just hollow is just the perfect ship to me. I so much enjoy it. That's a good. It's a good piece. Uh, I played against like uh, one of my locals, of course, in a tournament that we both travel to together, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, He's flying X1 Vader, and uh, the whole game I've been throwing strains off a of hollow. Yep. And he's like, okay, afterburners into range one, target lock, focus. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to throw my target lock, or your target lock, at Oof. just literally anybody else. Oof. And he's like, no, you can't do that. Yes, yes, I can. Mm, turns out I can. I can, and I will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can really do some interesting stuff with hollow. So good. All right. One single hit, one single blank. Mm-hmm. That's going to be another shield on that top Y wing. I think this should be purple. I think this was that shot right there. Mm-hmm. All right, hit, hit, crit. And that's going to be two more damage. Hit crit. And no, sorry, that's the ion missile. Oh, because the obstruction here. I'm surprised that was range. And now here's the range one from Hollow. Blank to blank. Three hits. All right, Black, can you hold it? Looks like that shields down on the black Y wing, or he's got one. Let's just double check. He's got one left. He's got one. Oh. Oh, five shields. So many. Dude. So are we not done yet? <laughs> still, got, still got shields on that thing. All right. So I'll spend the focus here. I'm trying to get him from downtown. No spend problem. it easy. Easy bust. <laughs> I still think that's a trap, but uh, I, I don't know the math yeah. yet. <laughs> it depends on what you're holding. Three it's true. hits. 
And two of those going through. That range one attack going into uh, into Revis going to end that run for that little TIE fighter that could. Okay. We got one more shot here onto Hollow, I believe. Mm -hmm. One of each converted for a hit. That's a crit pushing through. Oh, no, that's onto Kylo. And that's on the Kylo. That's the other shield down. The hole is exposed. And time. Stream time. You guys I mean, picked up your dials at one second. You can, you can play it. Yeah, one last round. Last round. Get a buzzer beater. Playing That's right. Face here. No, 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 GGs yet. Not yet, folks. One more round. One more round. <laughs> one. I'm done. All right, cool. So I'm trying to think here. Boost. Man, how do you get around that obstacle breach? Now you know you know this guy's gonna be here, right? Mm-hmm. There he is. I mean this is about the obvious loop you could do deal. These guys need sweet first player tokens. We have a sweet first player token. It's actually right up there at the top of the board. Oh yeah. Top of your screen. Joe's first player right now. That's right. Boost. Should have second strain. Let's find out if it matters. And I say that only because if, if Breach is just Audi, it doesn't. I'm not gonna disrupt the players for that. There there is a uh, there is a a finesse when it comes to commentating on games and interrupting players is definitely you gotta you gotta find find the spots find the spots right right you can't you can't you can't jump on them for every 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 single thing every moment because sometimes it just works itself out that's gonna be spicy at the top of the board though yeah and yeah, breach, yeah, Audi. Gone. We good. No, thank you. I'll take my one hole and leave. And, and, and get out. That's right. <laughs> All right. So they're, they're, like I said, one damage on Kylo Ren or Hollow. And uh, this could be Daniels, so... All right, and Kylo boosting. He's yeah. just like, I don't, I don't want anything to do with this. So I would like to be range three, please. He's gonna boost jam. Boost jam. I'm jamming myself. I want that extra die. Guaranteed max. That's die, right. Please. And that works well for Kylo because he has the force. Right. Right. And just, just because some people are like, why would you ever jam yourself? <laughs> that, that. I got mods. It's Kylo. Kylo would jam himself. Well, I mean, he basically has about. Three focus tokens with that brilliant evasion on him right now. Brilliant evasion. All right, so Sloop here trying to score the last points. He spent the lock last yeah. round. Is Hollow getting risk? aggressive out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, he checked the arc should be out. Two hits and a crit. Squiggle. So, so takes hit crit. That's going to be half points on, on, on black. black. Yep, and we'll see what that crit is. Who knows? Well, stunned no. pilot. Stunned. No, it's it's stunned. Because it doesn't talk about force. Uh, that's a range three and a double crit coming in from Joe. Blah. I don't even know what shot this is. Is he shooting a range three dorsal? Ooh. And right there, that's a blank out. Double crits coming in. Oh, no. no but uh, that's going to end up being two shields, I believe. Yeah, yeah, uh, I forgot. To, uh, on the blue Y-Wing. Yeah, I for forgot Kylo flipped his arc last round. Mm -hmm. So there's already in the rear. And I think that's it right there. Congratulations, Joe Vincent winning 100 to 54. Our first round of day 1B of the Las Vegas Open. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan,
Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.